was your uh, reaction to hearing that Dan was great terms with What was your reaction? I was uh, surprised. Well, I was surprised too. Um, I, I got a game to get ready for. We got a game to get ready for. We got something to focus on. Um, happy to have Cam back, but you know we got a game to win this week, and we rocking with PJ. Um, you gotta ask Cam. I feel like me and Cam cool. You know what I mean? Uh, I text him every blue moon, checking, just checking on him, checking him on his family, his kids. You know what I mean? That's the most important thing. It's making sure he's right, his, his mental's right, and his kids are right. Um, and he'll text back asking the same thing. So we got a good relationship. Jack, when they made the trade for Gilmore, a lot of guys talked about it sent a signal that the team was ready to win right now. Does this do something similar more? Uh, you talking about with Cam? Uh, we just, uh, um, I don't know. I only can focus in. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just focusing on this game. You know what I mean? And being one and zero this week, going down there playing one of the best teams in the NFL right now. Uh, probably going against one of the most explosive offenses. Uh, quarterback Kyler Murray is having a hell of a year, and uh, that's my focus in right now. We love to have Stephon. Uh, we got Stephon. He's balling out for us right now. Um, this defense is built to win right now. I can say that. But this team is definitely going to be built to win, too. Um, we're just going to go out there and take care of business. Like I said, we're rocking with PJ this week. And PJ is going to go out there and have a hell of a game. What was the mood of the locker room in general about the news that Cam's coming back? Man, we just focus on one and I mean, We can't let the outside noise stop us from what our main focus is. And our main focus right now is going one and over versus Arizona. What about Kyler Murray? Let's talk about that for a second with Arizona. Thank you. In terms of Kyler Murray, I think they activated A.J. Green again today, and so he's going to be able to play. What's, what is the hardest thing about him? Is it his passing or is it his running? Like uh, it's just Kyler Murray. I mean, you're playing against him, you watch him, I mean, he could, what can he do? You know what I mean? He could run, he could throw the ball. Um, you just got to keep him in the pocket. I mean, I think he's better when he's outside the pocket. You know what I mean? His wide receivers learn how to get open. And they run their routes and they, um, you know what I mean, just find a way to get open. Uh, he could throw the ball on his back feet, going 20 yards back and launch it 50. So, yeah, I mean, it's a whole a whole thing. You just got to watch out for Kyler. You know what I mean? You just got to go out there and, and just attack him how Green Bay did. This may be a silly question, but he's 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Can you actually lose him behind the, the offensive linemen that are 6'6", 6'5", 6'7"? Yeah, you could him? definitely lose him. Um, he likes to scramble, though, too. So he likes to scramble, get out the pocket, and he trusts his wide receivers. I mean, if I had wide receivers like that as a quarterback, I'd trust him, too. Um, James Conner, to me, he's probably one of the best backs right now. Um, he's having a hell of a season this year. Uh, I think he has like 11 touchdowns. Um, he's one of those guys who will run, run through you, juke you. Um, you can use him outside or use a wide receiver. So he gives you a couple different threats, and um, it's going to be fun to go against him. Jack, I think there are only 14 of you guys left who played with Cam. Have you 15, if you count, Snead. Um, have you asked? Answered any questions from guys curious about me? Sneak play the game? Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember. Uh, nah, I ain't. I'm, I'm like, honestly, like, yeah, we happy we signed Cam, but everybody's focused on winning this week. You know what I mean? We got to get back in this win column. Um, everybody's disappointed what happened last week, and uh, we got great energy this week in practice, uh, great energy today, and now it's time to transfer this energy to Sunday.